good health to you. I'm here for training. Yes, hear that voice Sir Ratzik said. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Ratzik wishes. Ah. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simple. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Take care now. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly and keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good splash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Yeah. All right. Well done. Nice. Very good. Very good. Good. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Nice. Very good. Well done. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Nice. Well done. What are you waiting for? See how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Very good. All right. Well done. Nice. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Good strike. I lure you, then attack unexpectedly. A complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Very good. Uh, that's it. Very good. Not bad. Nice. All right. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When 
When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Oh. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Ow. Well done. Good. Ah, not bad. Ah, nice. Oh. Too soon again. Ah. Good. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Good. Very good. Ow. Ah, that's it. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guests. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. And the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump us up. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Very good! Ah, that's it! Wrong! Again! Bad. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. All right. Well done. All right. 
the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Ugh. Wrong! Yeah. Again? Wrong, damn it! No! Again! Ugh. Not like that! Wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Don't leave yet. Razzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Can I ask... Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismund's are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our Lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen, and barbarians, too, for all that they claim they've turned to Christ. What kind of a lord is Sir Hanush? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king, probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzik seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What will become of the Scalitz refugees? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick, and you lot can clear off. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young lord spends most of his time making merry. But he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? Till Sigismund came, and then you folk, it was a fine, peaceful life here. Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out, and I can move back into my chambers. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. May the Lord watch over you.